I'm doing now is one of the cob baits that I find works the best. Um, it's four smaller cob, five to ten kilo cob. I'm using an 8.0 soy hook, glow in the dark foam with a rattle in it, which creates a lot more noise and vibration inside the water. I'm using a very soft nylon. Okay, I'm going to use two chocker, a very small chocker and a very thick chocker. The small chocker is more to create the tentacles, more movement in the water. The thicker chocker is more for the flesh, the smell, uh, the flavor in the water that I actually hit until it's very, very soft. Okay, grab the chocker quickly, guys. I've already pre cleaned the very small chocker, the very thin chocker. This is the thicker chocker. Again, I'm just sliding it down, slitting it down the center. Open it up. Okay. Taking the wings off of the big chocker quickly. Okay. This is a thin chocker, guys. This is going to be my tentacle part. So what I'm going to do is cut out one big tentacle here. And that would be ample. I'm going to slit it down the center. Like so. I'm going to lightly hit it. I'm not going to hit it very hard. That's going to form the base of my bait. I'm then going to take a piece of chocker about that size. You can see it's a lot thicker as far as the flesh goes. That I'm going to turn over again with the skin side facing up because I need to break it down a bit using the heavy part of the chocker, the very thick part of the chocker hammer. I'm going to sort that out. Then I'm going to use the thin side to smash it even more. There we go, just quickly clean my hands. Okay. Now, to put it all together, very simply, there's the hook. Where the V is, or the bottom part of it, about two centimeters below it. I'm just putting the hook through, over, and run it down. Like that. Okay, I'm now going to wrap elasticated chocker, uh, cotton around it. And guys, once again, I'm putting a lot of choc uh, a lot of elasticated cotton around it. Being the base, it's not really that important as far as cosmetics go. Then I'm going to take my soft chocker, turn it so that the flesh is now facing outwards, and I'm now going to wrap that around my chocker. And that, as you can see, 
is an awesome little cob bait. The smell, the oil in your hands, you can feel it's all coming out. The minute you hit the water, all those little particles in that are going to start oozing out into the water. And the black tail and the quarantine and the little fish that come along, Tobies, come and start picking on it. All that excess oil that you've actually hit in the big square piece will start coming out and creating little particle trails for the cob to follow. The nice part is, is there's the rattle still inside it, so you can hear the rattle rattling in there. The glow foam will glow through it, and if you really want to get a lot more creative, you can add eyes to it, which I will show you now. We just take a, a skirt, preferably one that's got a glow in the dark eye, and we just cut it out. I've trimmed one already over there. We can lay that next to it, and a couple of wraps around that will just lighten up the actual bait a lot, lot more. Okay, so basically we take the eye, take the cotton, wrap that around once or twice around there, turn him over, grab the other eye, over there, Cotton that one down. There's the eye. And if you're throwing that bait in the Eastern Cape during the daylight hours, um, a little bit of glitter sprinkled on it will also work extremely well. Let me just get some glitter quickly and show you guys. You can use Silver glitter, gold glitter, red glitter, blue glitter seems to work very, very well. Blue and gold seems to be the best colors that you can actually use. And you just lightly sprinkle it over the top of it. Take your finger and lightly rub it so it actually goes into the, the bait itself. And when you throw it in the water, everyone says, yeah, but the glitter's going to come off. With chocker, it actually gets stuck under the oil. You can see it on my fingers. I'm going to stick my finger in the water here and shake it around and see how much glitter actually stays on my finger. That in the water with that little sparkle going off, you catch your kingfish on it, you catch your yellowtail. The Cape Yellowtail absolutely love this uh, chocker bait as well. And yeah, you catch cob, catch pig nose grunter if you're down in the Eastern Cape. All on that bait over there.